Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you may or may not know, you can natively run Linux on many recent Chromebooks. Now, the problem is there's always been some kind of issue where initially there was no sound, and then they fixed the sound, but then there was no GPU acceleration. Well, with Chrome OS 76, Linux on Chromebook just got much better because they fixed that issue with the GPU acceleration for certain Chromebooks. Now, if you're asking what GPU acceleration is, basically this lets uh, the applications have access to your graphics card so you can realistically do things like proper video editing graphics design and even playing games and I'm talking about games from Steam full-blown games now this is only for certain Chromebooks and I'm gonna cheat and look at my list here it's a Google Pixelbook Dell Inspiron 14 which I'm gonna be using in this video the Lenovo Yoga Chromebook C630, Acer Chromebook 13, Acer Chromebook Spin 13, and the HP X360 Chromebook 14, which I have also tested this on. Now, if you already have Linux set up on your machine, there are some flags that you can set to get the acceleration going. I'll put a link down in the description so you can jump to that point in the video. For everybody else, I wiped out my Chromebook. I'm gonna be taking you through this installation as if you're just setting up the Chromebook for the first time. And uh, we'll be installing Linux, setting the flags, updating everything, and making sure that it works. With all that out of the way, let's jump on the computer and get this tutorial going. All right, so here we are in the Chromebook, and the first thing we're gonna do is get Linux installed because, like I said, this is a fresh setup. So we'll go into settings, go over to Linux beta, and turn that on. We'll just go through the prompts here. This is gonna take a few minutes to install, so I'll probably speed up through this or skip it and come back when it's done. All right, so that's all finished. And the first thing we wanna do after Linux gets installed is do an update, sudo apt update. This is just gonna go and check all the repositories to see if we need any updated software. And there's some that's upgradable, so we're gonna do a sudo apt update upgrade. Go ahead and select those and then just let those run as well. And I will come back when this is done. Okay, so that part's all done. So now the Linux container is installed on your machine and we can go in and turn on the flag to get the GPU acceleration working because right now we can install stuff in Linux, but it's not gonna have that GPU acceleration at this point. So all we need to do is open up Chrome browser here and we're gonna go to Chrome. And I'll have this link down in the description. Uh, flags. And then we're going to do a pound Christine GPU support. Now you can see right here we can turn that on. So we are going to enable that and restart the machine. This is just going to do a quick restart. And then when we come back, we can finish up here. All right, so now this is where this machine is a little bit different than something like the uh, HP X360. On the HP X360, when I did that and then ran these next commands, I was able to update and install everything I needed for the GPU acceleration. So I would do a sudo apt update. It would go and find a bunch of new repositories and then I do a sudo apt dist upgrade so a distribution upgrade and then we go and upgrade that this does not do it on here and when i was doing the testing i was only able to get it to install those files after i installed something that needed the gpu acceleration which is kind of weird so if we do like a sudo apt install mesa dash utils we can install that and that right now is grabbing some of those files that we're gonna need for that acceleration. So this is gonna take just a few seconds and then I can show you the command to run to um, check to make sure that everything is working. So then that is installed and if we run a glx info slash capital B, so this shows us the GLX drivers that we're using and we wanna make sure that this renderer string is VIRGL. 
that shows that everything is working well and we're also using this open gl es 3.2 mesa blah 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 and that's it at this point we've installed linux with that gpu acceleration so what i'll do is i'll go and i'll install a video editor and some games and i'll show you that real quick i'm going to be doing full videos on that later and again leave a comment down in the description if you want me to test anything else but just to give you an idea of what you can do with this so let me do that and i'll be right back all right, so I'm back and what I've done is I've installed Caden Live, which is a video editor, and then I installed Steam and I installed the game RimWorld through Steam. Now the cool thing is that when you go and install that stuff and then go into your uh, applications, it shows up in your Steam apps and then you can just launch it right from here. So if we wanna go and launch Caden Live, we launch it just like we launch any other application. And then there is our video editor. So we can go and import in some clips. I just have these two from a previous video I did. Make that a little bit bigger. And then if we see over here, we can go and play that video. You can scrub through. The scrubbing is a little bit slow because this only has a uh, internal uh, Intel GPU. But, you know, we can go and do our editing. We can set our endpoints and our out points, drag it down onto the timeline, maybe, and then, you know, scrub through it on the timeline, play it back. We can go in and add our effects. Like say we want to do an over-exaggerated contrast. We can go and do that. Now the thing is, again, because this isn't a really powerful uh, PC, when you play it, it does start a, a little bit when you do effects, but the point is you can run a full-fledged video editor now. So let's get out of here and launch RimWorld. Again, we can launch it just like any other app. Now, I apologize for this taking so long. I was gonna just show you the apps running on here, but if I do that and don't launch it from the Chromebook, I know somebody's gonna accuse me of this being a fake video. So just bear with me, I might skip forward through this. All right, so we can go and load one of my previous games here and show you how it's running on here. And games like this, RimWorld and other lower end games or older games, they actually run really well. I'm gonna do a full video on this, so I won't go too much into it, but I mean, I can scroll around, I can zoom in and zoom out and you know, select all my guys and play the game just like you would expect. And this is all because of that GPU acceleration before that came out in Chrome OS 76, this was not a possibility. So that's all there is to it. With this GPU acceleration, your Chromebook just got even more usable than it was before. Proper video editing is a possibility. Gaming is a possibility now, like full-fledged gaming. I'm gonna be doing some testing on that kind of stuff and posting some videos in the near future. If you have any suggestions on stuff that you want me to try out, stuff you wanna see, leave that below. But with this, change in Chrome OS 76. Linux on Chromebook just got much better. And I mean that wholeheartedly. This was a big step forward in my opinion. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people over there and I will see you in the next video.